Hi, I wanted to talk about Venus in Pisces because I have Venus in Pisces in my birth chart. Now, I can only talk about the Venus in Pisces in my birth chart. I can't talk about it in general because I don't know which house your Venus is in, what planets it's in conjunction with, or what aspects it's receiving, neither do I know what constellation or nakshatra is it sitting in. I know we can go into in more detail about which nakshatra it is and who's the ruler, but I just feel like speaking about Venus in Pisces in my birth chart alone. Now, um, I have Venus in Pisces in my sidereal zodiac and in my tropical zodiac. So, I first started out learning about sidereal astrology and then I've moved on to tropical now. So, in sidereal, I have uh, a Libra ascendant. So, my ascendant lot is Venus and it's in Pisces in the sixth. Well, with Tropical, I'm a Scorpio Ascendant, and my Venus is in Pisces, but it's in the 5th. So, with Venus in Pisces, how does that make my life uh, be? Well, I'm currently going through my Venus Dasha. With Sidereal, I have many more years to go with my Venus Dasha. But with Tropical, I'm almost finishing in a couple of years. Now, when my Venus Dasha started and I was still into, uh, if you're going to look at the side reel, um, Venus rules my first house and it also rules my eighth house. So, on the start of my um, Venus Dasha, I started getting interested in astrology. So, my eighth house get, got activated. It was the house of occult and astrology. So, that is how I looked at Venus ruled houses when I'm going through my Venus Dasha and if you're gonna look at my tropical Venus sits in my fifth house and is in Pisces and fifth house is the is said to be the house of Asian texts reading Asian texts the book of uh, is the house of knowledge so currently I'm pursuing courses in astrology so I'm doing that during my Venus Dasha and since my interest in astrology has started during my Venus Dasha so I think that's how it is being activated. Now with having Venus in Pisces, um, I've read and heard that they say that uh, Venus in Pisces people are daydreamers, they like to daydream. I do that a lot. Occasionally I do daydream. Um, we, we go off in our fantasy worlds and yeah, that does happen. But some of the good qualities of having Venus in Pisces, which is that it gives me the quality to uh, feel sorry for the poor and the downtrodden. And when I looked at uh, people who are on the streets and they're begging, and, and sometimes I have this idealistic view of removing all the beggars on the street and making sure there are no more beggars in the world, but that would be too idealistic. Some of the other qualities of having Venus in Pisces, it makes you want to help everyone, but over the years I've learned that uh, you can't go around helping everyone, they, they have to live their lives. And um, I'm a bit more mature now. So with Venus in Pisces, I'm more practical about how much of help I can give and how much of help I can give to the extent that I'm not being taken advantage of. So I want to talk about the benefits of having Venus in Pisces. It's um, when I was in my Venus Dasha, I started writing poems. I didn't used to write poems, but yeah, I think Venus in Pisces does give you the ability to fantasize and write about poems, but and also um, devil with a bit of painting. A bit of creativity and that started all this started in my Venus Dasha but uh, but now that I've moved on from the creative part to 
astrology so i don't feel inspired to write poems or paint most of my time goes into learning astrology so these are some of the qualities i've noticed about myself with having venus in pisces in my birth chart um they say venus in pisces make make you a bit intuitive and psychic maybe maybe yes i do i do sense that you may i may have that qualities so that is also one benefit of having venus in pisces but um why did i feel like one interesting thing is that i wanted to know why did i suddenly feel like i just felt like today i want to talk about my venus in pisces which is not something that i do on a normal basis and so i gone to uh astrolada birth chart calculator because to find out what was the transits in the sky going on uh today and i noticed that i had venus moon and pluto transiting my third house uh in my tropical uh baby birth chart so it's the house of communication so i thought today would be the best day to put up this video to talk about my venus in pisces or maybe why i was feeling such a strong urge to do this video um now about the outer planets i know some people don't use the outer planets but you can actually use the outer planets for short term transits um i kind of downloaded um audio courses from ernst wilhelm to study about the outer planets and i've not finished the whole course but if i'm not wrong you can actually use the outer planets to look at uh, short term transits so since today i noticed that pluto was in my third house so i i kind of it kind of ring the bell that maybe i did no wonder it was like i was feeling this strong urge to do this video um outer planets you can i noticed that some astrologers do use the outer planets and some don't but i've always been curious about the outer planets so that is also why i still study about the outer planets i i like to finish the course asap once i have the time because i'm busy studying a lot of other material on astrology as well so venus in pisces does it give me interest in astrology that i do not know but uh does it give interest in the occult maybe it depends um on what are the houses that are being ruled in my chart so basically i just felt like talking about venus in pisces and uh, how we are daydreamers and poetics and go off in our fantasy world and oh yeah and about how we are die hard romantics um well some people say that uh venus in pisces make you very um looking for that soul connection with your significant other and i think there's nothing wrong with that to look for uh something in common with your significant other because i think two people should come together and work towards a common as long as two people are coming together in a relationship they would have something in common that's why they are together and working towards a common goal to fulfill their destiny and venus in pisces makes me um want to look for someone who shares the same interests as me which is i think every one would look for the same thing and also to yeah we want to connect on an emotional level on a spiritual level maybe and yeah it has to be the whole works it has to be the, the mind body soul connection so yes so sometimes venus in pisces uh we are pretty picky when we come to choosing a significant other so and also because you want to make that soul connection so sometimes venus in pisces makes you want to wait till you find your significant other so this is what i see in myself if having venus in pisces in my birth chart there are other aspects in my birth chart but and i know i have to go into more detail but i don't want to do that i just want to talk about venus in pisces in my birth chart alone so i hope you enjoyed that video and feel free to comment